Nikon work with best-in-class technology providers to build inspection automation solutions. Let's talk with one of them. It's George from Google. Here at the Nikon Open House, it's all about automating inspection with the AppDisk system and also all of the technical partners that have helped to make this demo that we're stood inside here right now, George, uh, possible. Um, how important is it to try and automate an inspection system? It's very important purely because uh, it frees up a person to do something more value add to the process. Uh, if you did this on a manual way, it would take uh, a lot longer. Uh, it wouldn't be as repeatable because humans are fallible uh, and it's not uh, re recordable. So uh, every movement that the robot or the track motion makes can be recorded and, and, uh, and exported to uh, uh, for record keeping. Absolutely. Yeah. As, as, as experts in kind of automation accessories, I guess, you know a lot about this, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we work with all of the robot manufacturers for uh, a, a range of products. It doesn't have to be a floor mounted unit. It can be overhead. It can be vertical mount as well and accommodations of, uh, thereof. Um, one of the reasons that most companies like to work with a company like Goodell is we make the, everything to do with the, the track motion unit apart from the energy chain uh, itself uh, we make in-house so uh, all of the structures are made by us uh, all of the rack is is made and ground by us and hardened by us uh, the the guideways the roller assemblies the carriage plates it's all a Google product absolutely we're talking about the right now the rail the robot here yes. at the demonstration is moving along it's manufactured by, completely by you guys yes absolutely uh, so everything for, and we have 100% QC on uh, every part of it, uh, whether it is uh, the, the rack and pinion, uh, whether it is the gearbox assembly, everything is QC'd all the way through the process. And for those uh, that are interested in automating their inspection, but they look at the rail that a robot sits on, the, the, the fancy part that might, they might see yep. sits on, they might look at the rail and go, well, it doesn't matter which rail I buy, who I buy it from. Uh, why is it diff what, why is it difficult to move? What are the challenges when you're trying to move from a fully manual inspection system to a fully automated inspection system? And why would you go for a, uh, to a specialist company like Goodell for stuff like the, the rails that the robots sit on? Uh, not all robots are created equal, same as not all track motion units are created equal. So one of the, the criticisms that, uh, that we hear quite frequently is the fact, well, it, it's, it's more expensive. Well, y yes. And that's because it is designed to be a robust, very highly, highly repeatable unit. Uh, it's also very quick to, to maintain in the field in the event that there's a, a roller failure. Uh, that can be replaced uh, if you have the products in front of you in 10 to 15 minutes and the, the cell's back up and running. Um, but as I said previously, we manufacture it all ourselves. Uh, so we, we have total control over the, it all. Yeah, so I love the design, the, the focus on really good mechanical design from, from the ground up with this, this yes. NRL. But it's really important to be able to maintain these things in a quick fashion because one of the risks of taking, uh, of, of automating a system, having a high throughput system, is that if that system goes down, that high throughput is no longer high throughput, it's zero. Absolutely. And that's the reason that we designed the roller block assembly so that we could do a very quick changeover should we need it. Uh, so as I said, 10, 15 minutes and you can have a roller assembly changed, unlike some of the other competitors where you would have to take the robot off, take the carriage blade off, then take the, the bearing assembly out, put a new bearing assembly on and rebuild the whole thing, uh, and which can take hours. So as, a, as an automotive, um, not only as, a, as an automotive uh, sort of automation product designer, not just for longevity, but for maintenance, mm -hmm. how do you see um, the use of automation and accessories and, and automation systems like this changing, especially when it comes to, uh, to inspection? I, everyone wants it to go faster. Everyone wants it to, to be more uh, repeatable. And, and again, that's where, and, and again, we've done nothing special with this. This is an off the shelf design. Uh, if we needed it to be more precise, then yes, there are things we can do. We could put a planetary gearbox on, which again, we manufacture. Uh, we could use a, a higher quality rack. We could use a higher quality guide rail. Uh, and all of those are available uh, from, from our stock. So should we need to do it, we can do it. But you know, with our standard design in this size, it, it, this will repeat to 20 microns. That's good enough for, for most people. Yeah, so you drop it in, replace, drop it in, and it 
it should work. Exactly. Okay. And how do you see uh, working with Nikon as a, a, a top quality metrology provider? Um, as people are trying to get more and more into automation, uh, why is it important to work with companies like Nikon? Uh, they're looking forward, not staying still. Uh, if, and that's one of the things that, that as Google, that we're very proud to work with a lot of these uh, uh, solution providers because if you stay still, you get left behind and you end up like Blockbuster, you end up like Kodak, as in non-existent. Uh, if you are constantly moving forward, then you stand a chance of surviving. Uh, in a sales course I did many years ago, we'll say, um, the, the overall thing that I took away from that is whatever is good enough to get you where you are today is not good enough to keep you there tomorrow. So you have to constantly be evolving. You have to constantly be innovating. And this is game changer. I, I've been in, uh, in the game for a long time now. And you know, I remember the helping companies uh, install CMM machines to, to do what this will do in a matter of what, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and it would typically take them a shift or more. So uh, that's just revolutionized everything. So you can go from a one in a hundred CMM measurement to one in 10, one in 20, whatever it needs to be. So you're improving quality all the way through. And that's what we all as consumers want. We want the higher quality, but we don't want to pay the earth for it. So that's game-changing automation inspection technology from Nikon, but supported by technology partners like Google.